Good evening, my friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. Tonight's for dinner is just going to be a chef salad. All that prep work I did yesterday is going to pay off this week. Put in some bacon. And some cheese. I always put everything in the bowl first and then put in lettuce. Because if I put in lettuce first, we have way too much in here. So I switched it up a little bit. And then some egg. meal all itself. Put a lot of stuff in them. They're very filling. I like croutons in mine. My husband don't eat croutons. Put a few of these on here. And our dressings. French and ranch is what we like. And I think we'll have an orange too. Ooh, these oranges look good and juicy. Okay, nice, quick, simple, but yet delicious and filling dinner. Salad and oranges. Hope you like. Good afternoon. It is now Tuesday. Our what's for supper tonight is going to be taco bowls. All I need to do tonight is chop up a little bit of onion and make our taco, taco bowls. I'm just going to crush up some Doritos. Basically, a walking taco that we're putting in a bowl. And we want lettuce. Taco meat. Which I had already prepared the other day. And I just put it in the microwave. And we'll put 
put some onion on them. Don't have any tomato to put on, otherwise I would. And some cheddar cheese. There you have our Tuesday night dinner. Tacos in a bowl. And we'll put some sour cream on them. Dinners don't get any easier than this. some taco sauce. There you have it. Dinner without a whole lot of effort again. We'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my friends. It is now Wednesday, and tonight for dinner, I am going to make that King Ranch chicken and rice. But for us, since it's only the two of us, I am just going to have half the recipe. So in this pan, I am going to put in four ounces of Velveeta. Cube this up. Get the pan heating up. This is that recipe I was telling you about the other day, and it calls for uh Mexican rice but my store didn't have the nor Mexican rice so I had to make it from scratch so hopefully and then to this we want to add one can of cream of chicken soup and I will have this recipe linked in the description box for you Oh, and a can of diced tomatoes with green chilies, undrained. Get this melted all together here. And then we also need a half a cup of chicken broth.
Two cups of chicken there. And I'm only going to use about half of this. That looks like about a package worth of rice. And then I also need a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese that we're going to sprinkle on the top. Okay, this is looking pretty much all melted. Turn that off. miscalculated how much cheese I was going to need this week when I did all my prepping, but that's okay. sure I'm going to use more than a half a cup because we always do. Okay, I'm going to get this mixed in with the chicken and rice. And we're going to pour this in here. Thank <laughs> you. 
process. And I will sprinkle some cheese over it. going to go in the oven at 350 and bake for about 25 minutes and I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay you guys this is looking good and hot and bubbly. We'll dish up. Oh look at that. That really looks good. There you go. Supper tonight. King Ranch Chicken and Rice. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to give you an update on this King Ranch Chicken and Rice. This is really, really good. It's probably the best chicken and rice hot dish I've ever made. I highly recommend giving it a try. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hello my friends, welcome back to my kitchen. Happy Friday. Tonight's what's for dinner is going to be sweet and sour pork and noodles. And in this pan, we need a tablespoon of oil. And I am going to slice up this pork tenderloin into thin strips you need about a pound this is going to be a little bit more than a pound but I like leftover so that's okay Okay, there's our uh, pork loin. We're going to add about a teaspoon of garlic pepper seasoning. I will have this recipe printed out for you in the description box. I'm going to get this cooked up not all the way but most of the way. So we're going to finish cooking it with the noodles and everything. I'm going to see about getting some of that grease out of there.
Okay, now that that's good and browned up, we're going to add our one can of chicken broth. And our half a cup of sweet and sour sauce. And two tablespoons of chili sauce. Then we're going to put in one and a half cups of egg noodles. And then we're for about five minutes. Okay, now that this has been cooking for five minutes, we are going to slice up this bell pepper. Turn that down. Slice up this red bell pepper and add it to it. The recipe calls for uh, snow pea pods or something like that, but we always add a can of water chestnuts, sliced water chestnuts, because we just like them. Right. Here's our water chestnuts. Cover this back up and let it cook for a few more minutes. Get those peppers softened up. And then we will be ready to eat. I'll bring you back when we dish it up. Okay, you all, this is ready. To eat. Get it plated up. And show you what we got. Sweet and sour pork and noodles is what's for dinner tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.